Relaxing in an onsen is a must-do experience when you come to Japan. In other videos, we've shown where you can find wild onsens, a river where you can dig your own onsen, and a snowy winter hot spring at a Japanese inn. Today we'll be dropping a little more money to experience a private onsen. We'll be traveling an hour and a half south of Tokyo to the popular Hakone area, where there are plenty of onsen resorts to choose from. The easiest way to get to Hakone is to take the romance car from Shinjuku. This option is a little pricier than normal trains and isn't covered by the JR Pass, but it's one direct train straight there and the scenery is beautiful. First up, we'll catch a free shuttle bus to the onsen for two hours of relaxation. Then later, we'll hop on over to the seaside town of Odawara to take in the sights, including a little surprise from Japan's chaotic past. Hello and welcome! Today is all about showing you how to do a private onsen here in Japan. We have just arrived to our room and honestly, I'm blown away. It's absolutely beautiful and amazing. We've never done anything this luxurious before in Japan. But just quickly, before I get into a room tour, the details of this room are we're here for just a two-hour day trip onsen. It costs about 10,000 yen or about $100, 100 US dollars. You also have the option to rent yukata for while you're here, which was fairly cheap, so we'll show you that as well. But let's get into the room tour now. All right, it's room tour time. So starting at the very front, we've got the genkan, of course. Basically very traditional Japanese, take your shoes off at the genkan, and they've also got kind of like traditional little clogs that you can wear if you do want to go outside and wander around. Because you've got your own room here, but then the whole kind of place is this beautiful spa retreat where you can just wander around, there's places to sit. So come on in and let's uh, see the room. With this private onsen, you get a room inside to relax and the bath and shower outside overlooking the forest. In the room, there's Japanese seating with some very delicious complimentary citrus jellies. The room also comes with a fridge, so you can go anytime to the resort's restaurant or vending machine, grab food or drink, and bring it back to your room. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without a little beauty station with hair dry and complimentary lotions to use after your bath. At 10,000 yen, this private onsen is on the pricier side, but it definitely feels luxurious. But let's actually talk about the main reason why we're here now. All right, so outside we've got the onsen area. So there's a shower area where you must absolutely have a shower before you enter the bath. They provide soaps and shampoos, which is really nice. And then there's also the bath, which just has the most killer views of just like the beautiful nature that we're in today. And the bath is about 42 degrees Celsius, which is a little bit too hot for me, but it's perfect for Amy, apparently. Let's hop in and enjoy it. No, it's really nice. Um, the privacy is nice. I think on two occasions, it's going to be like a really good thing to do. When you want to go with maybe like a young family all together or like a significant other, like go with your wife, or your girlfriend, your boyfriend, um, because it's kind of, yeah, the best opportunity to do a mixed baby. The other occasion is obviously if you're maybe a little bit body shy, and you don't want to go to like public onsen. This is absolutely the perfect place to get the onsen experience, I think. Are we good? <laughs> yes, I'm <laughs> filming you. It's a little hot, it's a little hot. We're gonna go outside in our new crackers. Hi. So you put this. I'm ready now too. We're gonna go get some milk because that's quite a traditional thing to do after an onsen. Usually there's a vending machine and you can go grab some delicious milk. Let's go! So surprisingly, there wasn't any milk in the vending machine, but that's okay. I went for the second best thing, which is a sports drink to like really get you rehydrated after taking a hot bath. And apple juice. 
Besides the Kashkiri Buro, Hakone is a spectacular place, and would even just recommend coming here just to stroll around and take in the unique surroundings. Onsen, feeling very relaxed right now. And now we're going to the next town over to meet up with our friend Ray, and we're just going to be checking out Odawara. There's supposed to be a beautiful castle there. We're going to try and eat some oden, which is some Japanese hot pot. Let's go check it out. Welcome to Odawara. We are here in this spot that's just over an hour from Tokyo. I'm currently on top of a castle. And joining me, we have not just Roy, but Ray. Oh, you know, just a casual day trip from Tokyo to a castle. Crazy, right? But before we spill the beans, we got Ray to take us to an Oden restaurant. Even though we've been here for over a year now, we've never tried this before because, well, to be honest, I've always been a little bit scared that it's just going to be a glorified fish soup. But I was wrong. Go ahead. Fast food review. Mm. They mm. like it. It's good. Mm. I was actually expecting like a really strong fish. Like mm. Mm. Amy, can you react to like a Japanese TV? Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great show. <laughs> I'll give you ten. <laughs> So there you have it, Oden wasn't as weird as I thought it was going to be. Normally this dish is supposed to be eaten during winter, but we had it at the start of spring. Either way, it was delicious and I would totally recommend it. But let's go back to the real reason that we came all the way out to Odawara. Let's go back to the windy rooftop of Odawara Jaw. The castle sits on top of a mountain, and this is actually the reason why it's so important. It made for an impressive defensive stronghold during a time in Japan where basically everyone was fighting everyone for the sake of gaining territory. The castle, however, is a reconstruction. It's not the original building. However, the maintainers have done an awesome job of providing lots of information and turning the inside into a museum of sorts. Here you can find out a lot of good information about the Warring States period of Japan's past. And if you don't already believe that Japan is a beautiful place that just keeps on giving, have a look at this wonderful shrine that we found just at the base of the castle. Whilst a little touristy, Hakone and Odawada are two great spots to stop in at if you're visiting Tokyo and want something extra to the city experience. Make sure to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.